It's Friday the 5th of August and welcome to our weekly news bulletin from the Christian Institute. A public consultation on whether to redefine marriage in Scotland will be launched before the end of 2011. A government spokeswoman told the Scotsman newspaper, The Scottish Government is committed to holding a consultation on the issues of same-sex marriage and civil partnership with a process beginning later this year. Campaigners for same-sex marriage are pushing for the traditional definition to be overturned and a new definition imposed. But John Deegan, the parliamentary officer for the Roman Catholic Church in Scotland, recently commented, Are we saying that for the past few thousand years Western civilization has been wrong and because of the lobbying by press groups over the past 10 years, everything should now change? American atheists are taking legal action to remove a 20-foot cross from the September the 11th Memorial Museum in New York. The cross-shaped steel beams were found in the Ground Zero rubble shortly after the 9-11 attacks. Many New Yorkers say the cross was a beacon of hope for the city following the tragedy. American atheists say the cross is an unconstitutional mingling of church and state and if allowed to stay, should only be displayed in equal size and prominence to other religious and non-religious memorials. The American Center for Law and Justice called the lawsuit flawed. Chief Counsel Jay Sekulow said, This is another pathetic attempt to rewrite the Constitution and rewrite history by removing a symbol that has deep meaning and serves as a powerful remembrance to that fateful attack. A government inquiry into the rise of Sharia councils has been abandoned after the Muslim courts refused to cooperate. Justice Minister Jonathan Ginogli disclosed that the study of Sharia councils in England with respect to family law had been halted. He said the limited findings could not be regarded as a representative assessment. Politicians and pressure groups are becoming increasingly concerned at the growing influence of Sharia law in the UK. And there are fears that Islamist radicals will now be able to continue their activities unchecked. A bill by Baroness Cox in the House of Lords would make it a crime for a Sharia court to falsely claim legal jurisdiction over family or criminal law. The bill also tackles discrimination by Sharia courts against Muslim women. Almost 200 children aged between 5 and 9 have had hospital treatment over the past three years for anorexia, bulimia or similar problems, according to new figures. Commentators responding to the figures said society's obsession with being thin was partly to blame. The information comes from 35 NHS hospitals, but others did not give any information, so the figures may actually be higher. Nearly 400 children aged between 10 and 12 and 1,500 between 13 and 15 had treatment for the same reasons. Susan Ringwood, chief executive of the eating disorders charity BEAT, said, A number of factors combine to trigger eating disorders. Biology and genetics play a large part in their development, but so do cultural pressures and body image seems to be influencing younger children much more over the past decade. And finally, expectant mums can now officially add their unborn child to their list of family members on the social networking site Facebook. Expected child joins other options on their list of family members including mother, father and uncle. The move may have come about to stop users creating a new profile for their unborn child something that breaks Facebook rules which say users must be at least 13. The Christian Institute's Mike Judge said, Whatever the reason, it is refreshing to see the unborn child being treated as a living human being and an equal member of the family. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.